Well, many families are looking to start new traditions this holiday season. Michael Beck is the executive director of Experience Franklin County. She's here with some strong suggestions. Randy Allister in his forecast talked about seeing a car in the parking lot that had snow on it. I'm guessing that was yours. It probably was. We <laughs> did get quite a bit of snow up you in could, Franklin County. You could have brought it in. Well, the timing's perfect, right? It is. It made for a beautiful drive this morning. Nice. So we have so many things going on in Franklin County this season, trying to stay with the COVID friendly, mm -hmm. keeping everyone safe. So we have a driving tour that includes six counties. We're calling Whoa. it Lighting Up the Valley. Okay. So it considers Wayne County, mm -hmm. Franklin County, Fayette County, Union County, Ripley County, and Dearborn County, we've all joined together. We ask residents and businesses to decorate. There is a map that is on our website. That's terrific. And you can just take your time, drive. We did have a contest. Those uh, winners will be announced in the next couple of weeks. So it's just a nice time to get out. And then while you're in Franklin County, mm -hmm. we have the reindeer experience that oh, yeah. was here the other day. Right, right. White and, Lakers. Yeah. And so, you know, that's a great family tradition to start. We also also have um, the old time Meadowmore Christmas walk. And so there's barrels of fire to stay warm. We have carolers. The canal is lined with lanterns. It's just a great time to spend, get some shopping done, eat mm -hmm. some good cookies and um, hot chocolate. So that's another thing to do. And then this weekend starts lighting up Oldenburg, which is our German village town. And so the sisters have decided to light up the um, churches and you'll see six spires up in the air. Oh it's just such a nice feeling to go to. I drove my wife through Oldenburg once and she flipped out and my wife does not flip out very easy she's like <laughs> what you've known about this place and you're just now for the first time it's like it's almost too quaint it's it, but it's perfect perfect for the holiday season it is perfect you have the german and english signs you have the brick cobblestone roads and great architecture plus now tons of lights and christmas spirit so it's definitely something you would want to take your family mm -hmm. to well i also i'm going to double back to the, the the six county cooperative yes um that's really great because some fantastic light displays here in and around uh central indiana but that is like you do it and then it's sort of done you could tackle this over the course of multiple evenings like let's just do one county tonight and then let's do another county this weekend and and sort of stretch it out since we're all looking for more things to do. Correct, yes. So um, some of the businesses are having specials, um, restaurants are having specials. So while you're taking the driving tour with all the lights, you know, stop in those quaint little shops and, mm -hmm. and just take a look around because they're all decorated also. Yeah, plot, plot an evening, plot a weekend, plot the entire month if you want to. So uh, something like this, this m massive festive undertaking, this isn't something you guys just whip up in a matter of a couple weeks. How long have you been planning for this? Um, Actually, it's the Whitewater Canal Byway Association that mm -hmm. has um, joined everyone together. So it's taken probably five to six months to get this together. When COVID first hit, they approached us and a couple of the other counties, and all of us just love the idea mm -hmm. because we have to get in that Christmas spirit. Yes, we do, some way. Anyway, um, how has, has Franklin County in general, from, from your perspective as the executive director, been, been doing throughout all this? Actually, we've been doing fairly well. You know, a lot of our businesses took the Hoosier Hospitality Promise that mm -hmm. the state tourism offered. And so you can go online, see who's taken those promises. You know, they're doing the best that they can at this point. Sure, sure. Makes sense. I'm guessing someone like yourself, are you already thinking about next year? <laughs> I know how people in your position <laughs> tend to operate. Oh, we, oh, we could have done this. Mental note. We could have done this. Mental note. Oh, you always do that. I'm always working in a year in <laughs> advance. A lot of times I write checks for 2021. It's just one of those things that I think all of us do. Sure, so. exactly, exactly. And we're always talking on Indie Style here about shopping local, shopping local. Shopping local is wherever you happen to be. So if you're in Franklin County, that's still shopping local. I'm sure those business owners would really appreciate it. Where can we learn more about the map and all the festivities and everything that's happening? Yeah, so you can go to our website, which is franklincountyin.com, and our toll-free number is up there. Give us a call, and we'll be happy to either send you um, information or most of the information is on our website. Awesome. We will put all that information on our website, indiestyle.tv. Thanks for coming. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Thanks for bringing us snow. Th oh, hopefully so. There's a, there's <laughs> a, there's a silver uh, Ford pickup. And it has a Christmas tree in the back. If you just throw a little snow, snow. <laughs> on there so my son won't be disappointed that we didn't get any. I'd appreciate that. I'll, I'll get you a shovel. <laughs>